This is question number 16 of miscellaneous exercise of chapter 13 that is probability. The question is bag 1 contains 3 red and 4 black balls and bag 2 contains 4 red and 5 black balls. One ball is transferred from bag 1 to bag 2 and then a ball is drawn from the bag 2. The ball so drawn is found to be red in color. Find the probability that the ball transferred is black. Okay. Now to solve this question, first of all, we picturize the given condition. Okay. So consider that this is bag 1 and it is containing 3 red and 4 black balls. Okay. And we have the second bag and it is containing 4 red and 5 black balls. Okay. Now what is being done? One ball is transferred from bag 1 to bag 2. From this bag, we are taking one ball and transferring into this bag. So what is going to happen here? Now the second bag will have how much ball? 10 balls because one ball is being added. And from these 10 balls, a ball is drawn from the second bag. Okay, fine. So there are two conditions which are possible. First is this that uh, the back two will have five red and five black ball is the if the ball transferred is red. Okay, because this bag has four red ball and one red ball added to this bag will make five red and five black ball. Similarly, if the ball transferred is black, then this bag is going to contain four red and six black ball. Okay. Now we consider two events. First is event E1. Event E1 is the event that ball transferred is black and E2 is the event that the ball transferred is red. Okay. So because there are a limited number of balls, there are that is there are three red balls and four black balls in the bag one. So there is a probability of E1 that is the ball transferred is black and this would be equal to four upon seven. Okay. That is the total number of balls upon the uh, number of balls which are black. That is favorable ways upon total number of ways. And probability of E2 would be equal to 3 upon 7. Again, uh, favorable number of ways upon total ways. Okay. And uh, A is the event that the ball drawn is red. So here A is the event that the ball drawn is red is the final uh, uh, drawing of the ball. That is, after adding the ball, we are drawing the ball from the back to this is the event A. Okay, now what we are required? We have been given that the ball drawn is found to be red in color. Okay, so this event A has been occurred. We have to find the probability that the ball transferred is black. So we have to find the probability of E1 given A. Okay, E1 given A stands for probability that the ball transferred is black given that the ball drawn was red in color. Okay. So to calculate probability of E1 given A, we are going to apply this result probability of E1 into probability of A given E1 upon probability of E1 into probability of A given E1 plus probability of E2 into probability of A given E2. We are going to apply this result that probability of E1 given A is equal to this much. Okay. Now probability of A given E1 means that the ball drawn is red given that black ball is transferred. Okay, so if the ball transferred was black, okay, so what is the probability that the ball which is going to be drawn is red in color? So this would be equal to 5 upon 10 because the back two will have 5 red and 5 black balls if the ball transferred is red. And probability of A given E2 would be probability that the ball drawn is red given that red ball is transferred and this would be equal to 4 upon 10 because the back to have 6 red and uh, 4 red and 6 black balls. Okay. So probability of E1 given A, we have to just place the value of probability of E1 into probability of A given E1, probability of E1, probability of A given E1. This is probability of E2 into probability of A given E2. And uh, this would be equal to 16 upon 16 plus 15. You can see that this 7 into 10, 7 into 10, all they are going to cancel out. This will be equal to 16 plus 16 plus 15. And this would be equal to 16 upon 31, which would be equal to the required answer. So this is how I'm going to solve this question. Friends, thanks for watching my video. To watch more of these super videos and for the latest updates, subscribe and like the videos on these channels on YouTube, HSK Shiksha and Math Help by HSK. Thank you.